Minasan, Namaste, Nihongo no Ipichi no Pachala des. Watashiwa Kanani Tatumushimas. Kyo no Pepa no Daiwa. Gaikukugo to Ste Nihongo Gakshu. So Ste, Kono Mojur, Kyo Pen Kyo Suru, Mojur no Daiwa. Bushu me Tsumari Kanji Radicals des Soshite Kyo Benkyo Suru Nayo wa Bushu no Hen to Tsukuri ni tsuite des So the title is Kanji Radicals and we'll be studying Radical hen, which is on the left side of the character, and tsukuri, which is on the right hand side of the character. So, let's talk about the objective of studying this module. Of course, when we look at the kanji, we have to identify where to look for the module. So the first thing as we studied in the previous lesson is to look or rather memorize the characters which are radical itself. Like in the previous lesson we did the radicals like me or kuchi and um, ki which are characters as well as radicals now next step is that we look for the top or the bottom but before that we have to see at the left and right side so in order to be able to identify the characters radical we look at first left side of the radical and as I mentioned in the objectives of this studying this lesson we will find then they are called as hen like we have nimben Kihen, etc. Now, next we will have to see at the, after having seen the right hand, left hand side, we look at the right hand side and try to identify the radicals. The best example, as I said in the previous class or pre, pre, uh, as I mentioned previously also is the Kozato hen which when it comes on the left side and then when it comes on the right side it is Kozato hen. Okay let's start the study of hen and Tsukuri the radicals on the left hand side and the right hand side. Mo hitotsu no setto mite mimasho. Kono setto ni aru kanji wa hidari to migi ni wakerare mas. Soshite hidari to migi no futatsu no bubun kara meikaku ni mirareru bushu wa hidari kawa ni aru bae wa sore o hen to imas. そして右側に目立っているこの作りと変に皿にくっつかの名前がついていますがまずはこの瀬戸の漢字を読んであげますこれは村という字ですね左側にある字はキーですね 
前の文字ュールでもこれについて学びましたが、右にあるのは、すんです。ですから、村というと、やはり農林がある土地のことを指していますね。この場合は、木辺になりますね。つまり、左の分は木ですから、気変が目立ちます。けれども、この漢字に、寸の形で作りも明確にありますから、これは寸作りという名前の部集です。練習のために、村の漢字をもう一度見てください。その部集はどれでしょうかやはり、木という部分ですね。同じように木材からできているもののほとんどにはこの部首があります。今度、インインドのインという漢字をご覧ください。この漢字を細かく,く見ないと部首を判断できないと思いますが、やはり右側に作りが部署ですね。これは、インブシ作りという名前で呼ばれていますが、そこまで覚えなくても、このインという漢字のこの部分をご覧になると、この部署の下でリストアップされている漢字を調べることが、簡単にできます。もう一つ、優しい漢字を取り上げると、動物の取り上げます。これは、動くの漢字ですね。動くの漢字も、部首が作りになっていますね。ですから、勉強しながら、練習しながら、漢字にもう少し細かく木を使っていると部首を見分けることは簡単になります。辺の呼び方も一つの励みになっていると思います。つまりその呼び名は変の形によって違います。面白いですから、やはりそれを見て、別々の変を観察していると、漢字の勉強がより楽しくなります。特に外国人のうち、留学生、はインドやアジアの他の漢字は使われていない国から日本語、日本学を専攻しているとき、この面白く勉強できます。今度、辺という部分がある漢字を見てみます。体という漢字。は、すごく正気のレベルで勉強しますね。多分、小学校1年生ぐらいみんな覚えていると思います。やはり、人の形の整えられた部分ですね。ですから、人という意味があるほとんどの漢字、つまり、生きているものということも含めて、そこの部首を人弁と言います。次の肝心な名前は、水という共通な要素がついている漢字ですね。ですから、この辺の名前は、三髄と、います波
ike no kanji goran kudasai kono mitsuno chon 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 ga sanzui to yubushu desu ne subete no mono ni wa sono yoso ga aru to moimasu ga gakko no ko desu ne kore wa ki hen to yubushu de matomerare teimasu tsumari seiri sare teimasu Tsugi wa mei desu ne, akarui toyu koto desu kara, yahari hihen toyu bushu desu. Tsuki toyu kanji goran kudasai, kore wa oya toko desu ne, ma onna toko toyu to, yahari sore wa otagai ni yuko kan, ma Tsuki toyu kanjo ga aru kara onna hen ga aru kanji mo kazu ga oi soshite shimai imoto nado no yona onna no kyodai mo kono hen de seiri sarete imasu. Tsuki wa kuchi desu ne karata no bubun wa sono mama wakeru koto ga dekinai toyu hitotsu no bushu toshite toraerate imasu kara kuchi de ajimi o suru toyu koto o imishite iru aji toyu kanji mo aru shi yobu no kanji mo bushu o mite miru to kuchi desu ne kuchi hen to imasu tsugi wa Sasu toyu kanji goran kudasu. Kono kanji no hen wa dore de shou ka? Yahari te no katachi o kanryaku ka shita, yasashiku shita bubun desu ne. Desu kara kono kanji ga te hen toyu bushu ni zoku shite imasu. Tsuchi Hen. Mai mo moku hen mo goran ni narimashita ga tsuchi hen mo onaji yo ni tabun ningen ya kono chikyu ni itutsu no gensu o moto ni shite eru hen ga bushu toshite tokoro dokoro ma hitotsu no seiri no arikata toshite bunrui sarete eru to moimasu. ですから、土辺はこの地球の地ですね。その漢字にも左の方にある同じように地理学と関係がある坂、坂道、そして国境という字の部署が土辺。となってそのものの性質を語っているとも言えます。次は糸編、そしてゴンベンです。特にゴンベンはイウということを指してやはり人間が話している声を出している感じ。とその作業、その行動などにゴンベンという部署がついているはずです。ですから、話すはその一番簡単な例です。まあ、基礎的な例と言っても過言ではないと思います。Look at the hen. The name of this radical has so many variations. A man is simplified and put as a radical on the left side. So we call it nimben. Likewise, there is water radical, sanzui. 
there is a wood radical ki hen there is a sun radical he hen there is a female or a woman denoted as a radical and it is called onna hen as i mentioned earlier most of the parts of body also constitute a radical because it cannot be divided into two parts such simple kanjis among those we have kuchi hen or the mouth radical then comes the simplification of the kanji of hand and we call it te hen hand radical suchi hen the earth radical all those things which have something to do with the earth sand and soil you will find are listed under this radical then there is a thread radical ito hen and most interesting example of hanasu is the speech radical which is named as gomben so in the next class we will look at the radicals which are on the top and bottom but today let's have a short look at the radicals you will find on the right hand side in the character betsu or wakareru we find two lines which look like hiragana ri rari ru re ro line so it is called as ritto hen then there is a chikara hen there is fushizukuri further there is san zukuri you find in many characters especially katachi or chokoku finally very prominently appears the kozato hen or ozato hen this has two names depending on whether appears on the right hand side or the left hand side of the character tsugi wa tsukuri no yobi na o sore sore no suita kanji o minagara setsume shimasu tsukuri wa migi gawa ni aru bushu no koto desu ne tsumari kanji o futatsu ni wakeru to migi gawa ni aru bubun wa bushu ni soto shimasu ichiban kantan wa betsu to ka toku betsu no kanji desu ne sono miki no bubun wa ri to natte masu ne desu kara hiragana no ri rari ru re ro no ri ni chinande namae ga tsukerare te masu here we have seen so far the radicals which appear on the left hand side of the word the tsuchi hen nimben ito hen gomben next we are going to study about the radicals which appear on the right hand side the most prominent of these is the ritto hen or it is called katana hen katana means sword therefore in the letters we have to cut and then take out this katana hen appears the generic name for the radicals which appear on the right hand side is tsukuri we have seen the radical ritto hen which mostly appears on the right hand side of the character as i said 
the tsukuri radicals appear on the right hand side of the character so you may wonder that just now we have named the left hand side characters also as hen and then we are using ritto hen again well let me explain it to you after having studied some examples of tsukuri radicals this radical fushi zukuri or warifu and it means soku here soku means immediately like sokudan sokuto etc sitting in a, as a radical it looks like a man sitting on his knees the radical sansukuri has the meaning of three strokes which means painting something or make a design and the part on the left hand side is a combination of ki and sume tree and nails so it refers to the nails that means the folk of like this sansukuri denotes the sprouting plant this radical bokuzukuri means to strike hold a stick and strike with it in the right way so bokuzukuri here is as a radical exemplify tsukuri and on the left hand side we have the letter tadashi so make the right strike this kanji sei has the compounds like seiji seifu zaise etc let's take another example of tsukuri here we have on the right hand side the letter which is a radical which means akubi or kakeru this denotes the position of a person while yawning and the example here means uta which means song as we know for singing we have to shrink our body and put all the force on the neck in order to have a melodious voice here you may question that the last three radicals fushi zukuri san zukuri and boku zukuri had the suffix of zukuri whereas akubi or ritto hen sound alike so let me explain that it's not necessary that all the radicals which appear on the right hand side will be having this suffix ritto hen chikara hen will may be called exceptions and let me tell you the exceptions are not few so you have to observe it carefully in order to master the kanjis